page. Um, I'm really uh, rubbing hard because uh, the lampshade has a texture. And um, that definitely makes it a little harder. Let's see. Lampshades part two, here I am. Okay. So I'm just continuing with this little bit and then I am going to seal it with some um, of my favorite sealer DIY Big Top. This is the Wander Transfer, if you are just watching. I love this one. I love this blue and all the color, and I love the um, outlines of it that make it look watercolor. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I, hi Susan, hi again. I've got, I have so many unfinished projects laying around you guys from doing these lies because I have to come up with something um, quick so you, so you can see the ending on most of them. and. So I just oftentimes am not good at getting back to um, finishing. And so I really want to continue this here, seal it and finish it. I finished the coasters from last week, but I have to take pictures of those. But those are done. They didn't come out as well as I would have liked because my um, I went back to fix some of the things, the drips and the edges and it messed them up a little bit when I did that. I should have left well enough alone. There's that nice big flower. I need a day of catching it. You know what? I When I have a day, I make it a rest day. The other thing that I have to go over and finish today, Susan, when I'm done with this is I have to put that last flower back on over the green dresser that I'm patching up. And I've shown all that live, um, but I have my the last flower to put on. And then it needs a couple of coats of uh, sealer. And I'm hoping that when I do that, it will all, the color will blend because right now where I patched it, the color is off. And I don't know why I used, you know, the same colors. I'm just thinking over time, maybe the color changed as it dried. I don't know. All right, that looks good. Let's see if there's something underneath here. Yeah, leaf. What I need is uh, somebody to help me who kind of knows what they're doing so I can just, they can help me catch up with some of the small things we can just get stuff done. My kids are very much not interested, of course. in here. It makes me think about all the times I've um, pressed these on with just an air bubble and how important it is to press them down after. watch the last bit Susan I just um, I've got I work in so many different spots I have I'm here I have to go picking and buying um, my shop is separate from my workshop I have some things at home it's just uh, I'm spread kind of thin All right. let's cut 
this here. Dropping everything on the floor. All right, almost done. Plus, I really didn't want to rush the the um, fixing of that piece because I don't want it to get messed up again. So dry time is important. All right, I'm back at my seam. If you look around, this place needs a bulldozer. I have been meaning to schedule classes too, and I just have not had a chance. All right. Almost, almost, almost. Just that one little orange flower. Woo! Yay! just a little something right there. I've got a couple pieces How about this. These are just from the same, obviously from the same transfer. I just cut a couple of them off because they were too tall or because I could separate them to do this. I have tons of it left though. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna start at the seam, go around, press it all in, and then we're gonna put on our big top. I think it's looking pretty. But, okay, so how long? So it took me um, 40 minutes to get the transfers on this, which is a lot longer than normal than I would normally spend. All right, so I'm gonna put my hand behind and just press all of these, get all the air out. I just don't like how much air and bubbles are in there. Usually, when I've done this on furniture, if I ever want anything to come loose or come up, I have to go back and sand it pretty hard because they're stuck down. seam so hi again Bonnie all right we're gonna seal it now I am uh, gonna use my big top and hopefully um, it won't lift and everything will stay down and then I can add another coat of sealer on it tomorrow. All right, so I'm going to, just so I can keep track of where I am, I'm going to start at the seam. I'll use my wide brush and just put it right over it. The only thing I'm worried about is drips. I don't want to have drips, but you really, you can be pretty generous. You also don't want this underneath your, you know, to get under your transfer because you don't want it to peel back up. 
I love the colors though. So for, oh, I didn't realize I was back so far. Sorry. Um, I would not use wax on this particular one um, because it's textured and the transfers are not sticking as well as I would like them to initially. You know, I hopefully they'll be all right. Um, but I don't think wax is quite strong enough if you have something that's not working correctly from the get-go here. Ooh, love it. The, um, this is DIY Big Top. It has a uh, satin sheen. It doesn't turn yellow. It's really easy to use. It dries nice and hard. Oops, it drips. I'm going to have to wash the inside of my lampshade in a minute because I just dripped. I am pressing down quite heavily just because it's flexible. I'm going to go around one more time to make sure I don't have any drips. Then I'm going to clean the inside where I do have drips. the question um i don't know i mean i don't know why mod podge wouldn't work i have only used mod podge for um decoupage i used to use it now i use the diy products just because i sell them um so i'm sure there are a lot of things that the mod podge can do that i'm just haven't used it for I'm not sure it's worth a try all right so I can see now I'm gonna go around again because it's gonna get just because I see some it's gonna get more than one coat so I'm just not, I'm not really worried about I'm more worried about this sticking and staying down this is not something I normally do but for me this whole thing is kind of an experiment and I don't like the air bubbles I'm seeing If you watch me enough, you know I'll walk you through all the screw-ups and show you how to fix them. I've never had to do this on a transfer before. It has to do, I believe, with the fact that this is on a flexible back and it's just not getting enough pressure down. And it's on the big pieces. You can hear that still. I gotta get that air out before it seals. Okay. It seems to really be on the big flowers where there's much more surface area. Now, if there are any like marks in here as far as where I have just moved around some of the top coat, it'll fix itself on the second. All right, now we're just gonna uh, cross our fingers and I'm gonna find a smooth lampshade and try it again and see if it's any different. But I have faith that this will work. It looks like I've got it I've got these bubbles pressed down pretty well. The big top dries pretty quickly, so I think I've used all of my time up here uh, maneuvering this. And I think it came out really pretty, so let's just hope that it all sticks on there. And if it doesn't, we'll figure out why and we'll try it again. Because that's all I can do, right? I'm stepping on pieces of paper and tape. Um, yeah, Big Top is an awesome top coat. I love, I really love it. Um, I've tried a lot of top coats and there aren't a lot. Oops, I just took myself. There aren't a lot of them that I've um, really liked and this, but this is definitely one of them. And the satin sheen is nice. Um, let's see, any other 
We get IOD products, but not DIY. Would need to find an alternative for Big Top. Um, Susan, where do you live? I ship in the United States. So you can order it from me um, if you want, if you're in the USA. Um, I mean, you could just use any, any water-based top coat, I say lightly, because there are some like from the big box stores that I have not had good luck with that I don't like. They turn yellow, um, they peel. Uh, if you have general finishes, that's a good product. Um, I love DIY general finishes. I haven't used a lot of the other ones. Those are the ones that I've really had a lot of luck, to, a lot of luck with. Um, you're in the UK. Um, Annie Sloan Lacquer, maybe? I don't know. I'm sure there's something good over there. Um, and I'm not sure if we have DIY. Oh, Crystal Luck, um, Crystal Lacquer, right? Crystal Lacquer. Is that what it's called? <laughs> um, I've heard good things about that. I've never tried it uh, myself but I have read good things about that also not turning yellow. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna go, um, what am I gonna do? I might just sit down and take a breather. I've been talking a long time today. <laughs> um, I have some boxes to pack, some paint to send out to people, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks for watching. Um, have a great day, uh, and uh, I will let you know tomorrow what happens with the lampshade. Okay, bye guys.